everyone welcome back to our channel all about me uh, last session we discussed how do we call a powershell script from azure data factory pipeline right this is going to be a continuation of that session i'm just going to show you how do we pass parameters to the powershell script and access the values of the parameters in the script itself okay that is what i'm going to show you today uh, i have this powershell script in my blob storage okay so these four lines that i have commented out these are the four lines that we saw in the previous session we try to delete a folder in data lake storage from uh, powershell script which is there in the blob storage path okay in this session i am trying to show you how do we delete the file in blob itself okay we are not going to go to data lake storage and do a deletion there instead i am going to just delete my blob which is uh, where my powershell script resides <clears throat> okay so the first line is nothing but this is the line which receives the parameter values from my pipeline in pipeline i am calling this powershell script by passing some parameter values in the runtime okay in real time scenarios we will want to do that right passing some dynamic or um, um, runtime values to the script for handling it over there so for that this line will be useful for us and then i'm just trying to check the powershell version that is installed in my um, compute node okay in case you are doubtful whether powershell is there or not why my command is not working you can just use this particular uh, command to find out the version of the powershell and third line is nothing but write host is like a print statement i'm just trying to print the values that i received in the um, parameters okay so parameter 1 and parameter 2 i'm just trying to print and see what the values are and then finally i set up the context this is nothing but i am mentioning the credentials which storage account what is the key and all i am mentioning and then finally i am removing the blob or file from the blob storage path okay here as you can see for the blob name and the container name i am using variables variables are nothing but the parameter names here container name and the blob name okay so this is the simple uh, code that i have and uh, i have one more text file in the same um, blob container which i want to delete okay so i am going to my um, power i mean pipeline in pipeline i am just calling the powershell script followed by the parameter values i have four parameters in my um, script so i give four different values separated by space okay so all about goes to parameter 1 ba goes to parameter 2 demo goes to container name and then this file name goes to the blob name okay let me run this quickly and show you how it works okay the file is gone now unlike the previous uh, session right wherein i mentioned uh, authentication and all for this blob right it's not uh, throwing any error if i try to delete uh, a file without uh, even proving my credential i mean proving my authenticity right so just wanted to inform you about that maybe because of data lake storage it asks for credentials and all but for this blob storage i am not going to be asked anything like that okay so i have uh, standard out.txt standard error.txt let me show you what is the output so as you can see here the powershell version that we wanted right it's right out here and the parameter values that uh, we, we were printing in the script right that is all appearing here testing parameters param1 is all about param2 is bi so this is about the standard output and standard error uh, it shouldn't be anything because uh, uh there hasn't uh, been any error so far no issues encountered in the syntax as well so this is empty standard error.txt in case of any issues or problems you will see the appropriate error in the standard error.txt in the next session what i'm going to do is i'm going to consume the output given by my powershell script and use it in the uh, rest of the pipeline okay um, just stay tuned for that thanks a lot for watching that's all for this uh, video if you have any questions let me know Uh, if you have any such experience uh, working with powershell from pipeline um, please post it in the comment section